Hi there, I'm Paul Stamets, and ah, this is my friend Ursus Spileus. Um, this is a cave bear. They became extinct uh, in the Pleistocene around 24,000 years ago. They became extinct specifically because of humans um, traveling into Europe went to caves to survive the winter. Um, and of course, these bears were in the caves for a lot longer. So humans were able to use fire, and they were using fire, uh, we presume, from a mushroom fabric that comes from the amadou mushroom and the amadou mushroom grows on birch trees and bears scratch birch trees and then the amadou mushroom and another mushroom called the red belted polypore comes out of the scratches later on where our ancestors figure it out that these polypore mushrooms could carry fire and so you can carry fire literally for days and our ancestors when they traveled to europe discovered something new called winter and they were freezing, and so they went to the caves, but the cave bears were there, so they had to get the cave bears out. And that, uh, using fire and spears and community warfare, they displaced the bears to the point they became extinct. Now, the solutions that we need today, because we face such a complexity of problems, and biodiversity and biosecurity depends upon the complexity of nature. We are all interconnected in the web of life. So, what I find fascinating and the, our research uh, with bees is that these amadou mushrooms and the red belted polypore help bees survive. And there's an intimate thread of connection between the forest, the bear scratching the trees, the polypore mushrooms, then that, that then produce sugars that the bees are attracted to. And now we found just recently the, these little droplets coming out of the trees also have antiviral properties and activate detoxification pathways. So even though this bear is extinct and we are undergoing deforestation, we are now just grasping some of the ancient wisdom inherent in nature and we're trying to reapply it to save the bees.